In this video, we will learn about keyframe animation in the context of effects. First, let us try to apply a text slide effect using keyframes. Here, I have a background layer, and a text layer above it. Let us go to the effects panel. And then, add this offset effect. Offset effect can be used to move an element on X and Y directions. Let us add a keyframe and then use the effect to move the text down. Now move a little bit towards the right and then add another keyframe. In this keyframe, we will move the text up. Now, when we play the video, we can see that the text is moving upward. But for this effect, we want the text to appear from an invisible line. And to do that, we just need to add one more step. Go to Effects, and then add Linear Mask effect into the text segment. Linear Mask adds a gradient-shaped mask into the segment. We will go and reduce the gradient, and then move the line down, so that everything below this line just disappears. This looks good but we can use an easing curve to make it look even more interesting. Let us try this ease in out curve. Perfect. Let us do an undo and redo to see before and after this easing curve. A very subtle effect that makes all the difference. Now let us disable these two effects and try a different effect. Let us add this long shadow effect. We will use keyframes to make the shadow length increase from 0 to a value that looks nice. Add a keyframe when the length is 0. And another keyframe at a longer shadow length. What we can see here is that when we move through the timeline, not only the length, but also the angle is animating. All the properties that we see here, that has a green diamond next to it, is animatable. But we can toggle this behavior, but tapping on the diamond button. Now, the angle is not an animatable property anymore. It remains fixed at 60 degrees, throughout the animation. This is exactly how I wanted the shadow to animate. Let us apply an easing curve to complete this project. This looks perfect. Thank you for watching the video.